Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. We are here today to do first episode of high-end VR showcase. So, what's happening is with PlayStation VR 2 for PC adapter releasing next month, it's time to start featuring more high-end VR on this channel, which basically means from now on it's gonna be PC VR here. Or PlayStation VR, you can see my PS5 down there. So anything what your PS VR 2 headset will connect. Now, of course, I know some of you don't own PCs, but do not worry, PS5 is high-end VR, so I'm still gonna cover PS VR on PS5 on this channel as well. Basically, all good stuff, just no quest. Now, why no quest? I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video. Uh, don't want to waste anyone's time because you've got some cool games to look at. So, with that out of way, if you're not subscribed, then subscribe. If you want to help the channel, like and share the video, and let's go. And we're gonna begin from our first game, which is uh, lately announced, Assetto Corsa Evo. Now, this game will release with the virtual compatibility straight away, the developer stated. So it's definitely gonna have VR on Steam VR, which gonna, of course, include PSVR 2 now as well, once you plug in your PSVR 2 to PC. Regarding the PS5 version, they said it's coming to console, I think, but they didn't say much about it yet. It's very well, might support VR on PS5 as well, but I cannot confirm now, so I'm just gonna put little question mark at the moment. But I can tell you that developer said in interview that they want to have VR on day zero, basically. Anyway, next game, and this one is definitely for PC VR, but also PlayStation VR 2, as announced by the developers not so long ago. I'm talking here about Exocars. This is, as you can see, the racing game. When it first got announced, it says it's gonna feature multiplayer and it's gonna be asynchronous multiplayer mode. But eventually, during the PSVR 2 announcement, the developers said this game will support real-life multiplayer as well. It's developed by Xocus and it's supposed to be releasing on 15th of August. Now, I don't know for which, it's, that's the Steam VR date. I don't know the PlayStation VR 2 date. It's my bit later, it might be same time, I don't know. On Steam, it says it's going to be early access game. So maybe for PSVR 2, we might wait a bit later. I have no idea, but nevertheless, it's always good to see another racer. Now, speaking about the games that you sit in the cockpit, let's speak a bit about Aces of Thunder, uh, showing off the latest footage from the game, what the developers uploaded, British Aviation. Uh, this is 720p footage. For some reason, that's what they're doing. I don't know why, but whatever, fuck it. We still got it and it looks great. As of now, this one is PlayStation VR 2 exclusive only and it's a multiplayer only game. PSVR owners, uh, let's say, not been spoiled <laughs> when it comes to the flying games. The Project Wingman definitely didn't deliver on PlayStation VR 2. So hopefully Aces of Thunder will help PSVR 2 owners uh, feel better about it. Now, moving on from PSVR 2 exclusive to PC exclusive, and I want to talk about Tom Explorer. At the moment, it's only coming to PC VR. The latest trailer plays for you in the background. Uh, I don't think I really need to describe this game, but let me talk about it a bit. This is definitely one of those games that I want to play as soon as I get my PSVR 2 adapter and plug it to my PC. It's releasing this month on Steam VR, 19th of July. Now, if you want to be Indiana Jones in virtual reality, it looks like Tomb Explorer is the game that you need to go for. Well, Indiana Jones slash Nathan Drake slash Lara Croft, whatever you want to be, because that's the vibes this game gives me. Looking great, uh, there's a scene in trailer with the stone chasing you, of course, a very classic scene from the Indiana Jones movies. Looks like quite physically driven, tons of puzzles, but also some combat and a lot of platforming. Everything what I like in virtual reality is this game. And also it supports the great looking graphics. I must say, when I see this game, I think it looks really, really cool. So definitely looking forward to explore this world uh, as soon as I can. Now, let's move on to the another game. This is Wanderer, The Fragments of Fate. 
releasing pretty much on every VR headset, but of course PC VR and PS VR too. It's where it's going to look best. So coming from the developers of Original Wanderer, which released some time ago on PS VR One and PC VR, but they moved the game to Unreal Engine 5 and basically they expanded on it uh, slash Let's say they don't have any constraints now, they've got enough power, added locomotion, the game looks beautiful. I think they even expanded the world and the areas. A lot of assets got remade, especially for this one. So if you played played one, you know, it's still worth to buy that one. It's not just, let's say, a free update of the game just to support PlayStation 5, but it's pretty much a remake of the game. Suffered so few delays now, but it's supposed to be releasing in September. So uh, that's the that's when you want to mark your calendar for this one. Okay, let's move on to another game. And I want to talk about Ember Souls. Now this game caught my attention during this year's Upload VR Showcase, which featured a lot of shitty looking games, but this one stood out. Uh, back in the day, I used to love playing Prince of Persia, Sons of Times. Uh, beautiful game uh, and great game as well of course uh, it's quite old game but still great the pleasure I've had to play it with VR headset is basically I could play it in 3d using Vorp X but I would like to play some sort of Prince of Persia game in virtual reality and this one looks like the developer was as big as a fan of Prince of Persia as I was but he knows how to develop games I just know how to chat shit on YouTube but also, you know, not, not, I just don't know that. I don't know why I, do, 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 why I say that about myself. I can do a lot of things, but I cannot develop the games. So this one definitely looks great. It looks like big inspiration from Prince of Persia. So this is, uh, let me just read you the description. Ember Soul is a thrilling VR hack and slash game, blending parkour, climbing, and environmental puzzles in a luxurious Persian palace. Harness the power of the Ember Stones to unlock new ab uh, abilities and use your combat skills and agility to defeat the mysterious Shadow Sultan. So, not only looking great, it's got great story and it's basically Prince of Persia. So, I'm very, very happy about it. Okay, moving on to another game. This one is SteamVR and PSVR 2. Uh, one which I look forward a lot to as well, featured it on this channel a few times, but I want to speak about it, uh, about it again. This is Cold VR, so if you are a fan of Superhot, which I'm assuming 90% of VR headset owners <laughs> are, then you probably gonna like hot, uh, Cold VR. So the developers of Superhot went in different direction and made this Toy Trains game uh, because they wanted just to make something different but some people still got each for this similar type of gameplay. So Cold VR basically flips super hot uh, uh, 360 and the time moves when you stop, so you have to be on the move all the time. Looking great. Okay, moving on to Steam VR, uh, D-Day VR Museum. I want to talk a bit about that one because of course virtual reality is not only the games, but also it can give you some great experiences, which you probably wouldn't have during the flat gaming. Pff, flat gaming, pff, we spit on it on this channel because we like VR here. So D-Day VR Museum is it's what it says. It's a virtual reality museum where you can explore, you know, exhibitions from D-Day, but it's not just like normal museum because you can uh, wander the beach of the Normandy. You can, uh, you know, get up close and personal with personal with uh, exhibits down there, a lot of knowledge, a lot of animations, as you know, a lot of stuff happening around you. Perfect stuff for virtual reality. So I definitely gonna be looking forward to check this one out. Right, so to end the video, we're gonna talk about another racing game. And this one is called Overjump Rally. And as you can see, it's heavily inspired by Sega Rally, which was a very cool game back in the day on Sega Dreamcast. It's been developed uh, using Unreal Engine 5 uh, and the developer basically bringing classics back. Now, it's not officially supports virtual reality, but of course it can be injected with uh, PlayDocs Unreal Engine VR injector and this will make it VR, but also the developer endorsing the virtual reality version. So what some studios doing, 
they making it easier to make profiles for the game or making their own profiles so you can use it in your game with Playdocs VR Injector, which anyway is very easy to use, so don't worry about it. So uh, every time I do the showcase, I want to feature one Unreal Engine game that coming soon that you'll be able to play in VR and this is one I am very excited for. So looking forward to that one. Let me know what you think about this showcase. I'm very interested. Is that the format you want to see? Uh, High-end VR, VR is the best. So I said earlier, I'm gonna tell you why I'm not gonna fetch a quest here. And basically back in the day, I tried to do quest and I've done few videos. And to be honest, to this day, those videos are <laughs> some of the best and most watched on this channel. But the problem I've had with Quest is I could not get used to it uh, to the downgrade, let's say it's provided, not taking anything away from the headset, of course very versatile, but uh, when it comes to the games I just could not get on with it, I've had Quest 2 and even going from PSVR 1 to Quest 2 it was too big of a downgrade to actually enjoy it, so I've been trying to cover it on this channel but I've not been enjoying doing it, that's why I stopped. Now with high-end VR like PC and PS5 of course, I'm gonna enjoy it a lot and even more with all the mods you can get on PC. Hopefully some of that will spill to PlayStation 5. As we know, flat to vr Studio is gonna announce something. So yeah, really looking forward to doing the channel that way. In comment section, let me know if you got only PlayStation 5 or you planning to get PC. Uh, or maybe you're just planning to not play VR anymore at all. <laughs> I don't know. I want to know. Uh, I'm getting new PC soon, so looking forward to that as well. This one does its job. It's good, but I want the beast <laughs> to have the best <laughs> graphics here on this channel uh, and for myself as well. And of course, if you're not subscribed, then subscribe. And if you want to help this channel and help this video, then like and share. And for now, that's it. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.